Hi, I'm Taylor, and this is a high-level demo of the Control Plane platform. So I'll go ahead and share my screen and we can get started. So for those of you who are not aware of Control Plane yet, Control Plane can be described as an internal developer platform delivering instant cloud-native maturity of a company like Netflix without spending the extensive time and financial investment to actually get there. And to create an account on Control Plane, you can navigate to controlplane.com and click the sign up page on the top right hand corner of our screen. And once you sign into your account, you'll be navigated into your org. Once you're in your org, you have the freedom to run your compute absolutely anywhere. And what does that mean? Control Plane has a unique concept called the Global Virtual Cloud, or GVC for short. And a GVC is simply a name collection of locations or regions from any cloud provider. These locations can be provided by Control Plane, in which case you would not need to register your own cloud account, or be provided by you. So you have the flexibility to bring your Raspberry Pi machines, your VMware hosts, or your locations from AWS, GCP, Azure, Oracle, Linode, etc. So when I create a GVC, we'll call this test, keep it simple. And here I can select any combination of locations my org administrator has given me access to. And what does that mean? Let's cancel that for a second and navigate to the location tab. As the org administrator, I have the power to enable any combination of locations that I wish. And again, these locations can be provided by control plane or be provided by you. You also have the flexibility to mix and match a combination of both. Once I enable any combination of locations that I wish, I can select those locations when I create our global virtual cloud. So let's create a GVC again called the Taylor Prod GVC to keep it simple. And now I have the option to select any combination of these locations. So if I was just an AWS shop, I can just select the AWS locations here, or just Azure or just GCP. If I created not the Taylor Prod GVC, but let's say the Taylor QA GVC, I'll select just one location from AWS perhaps. But in this case, I'll select all the locations from AWS, Azure, and GCP. I'll click Create. And we're done. So within a few seconds, I have just minted a brand new GVC called the Taylor Prod GVC, comprised of these locations from AWS, Azure, and GCP. So to deploy a workload to the Taylor Prod GVC, I do have a few options. In addition to our UI, you have the option to leverage our CLI, API, and Terraform. We do support integration with any CI/CD provider, but of course, the dark theme is a UI concern. So let's deploy a workload to the Taylor Prod GVC. And as you can see, we do support different workload types. We'll call this the Taylor Video Game. And now select the container image, either provided by Control Plane. Uh, so Control Plane provides a container registry out of the box for free, but we do support other container registries as well. So I happen to have found a container image called Duran slash Mario on Docker Hub. I'll click Make Public and click Create. So within a few seconds, I just deployed a brand new workload called the Taylor Video Game to the Taylor Prod GVC. And if I navigate to the deployment tab down here, you can see that the Taylor video game is currently spinning up in each of these locations we specified when we created the Taylor prod GVC. So in a moment, these locations will switch from not ready to ready. And as you can see, it's happening in real time. I do have the option to select one of these individual endpoints. And as you can see, each of these are TLS terminated. So let's just select Azure Central US. And now we're playing our Mario video game. And again, it is TLS terminated and I am indeed in Azure Central US. But the cool thing about Control Plane is that instead of selecting one of these individual 
deployments here, I can actually navigate to our global endpoint, which I can also access under the info tab. And this global endpoint is going to route me to the nearest healthy location within the TaylorPod GVC that will deliver me the lowest latency. And as you can see, it is TLS terminated. So for our global endpoint to work, as long as one of these locations is healthy and ready, I will be served to the Mario video game, meaning if every single location besides one went down and experienced an outage, I as an end user would be unaffected because every single end user is always routed to the nearest healthy location, delivering them the lowest latency. So let's show what the developer experience is like. I happen to have created an application. Let's see, let's navigate to my Visual Studio. Um, it's just a simple hello world application. Let's change this from hello from Taylor living in New York City. I'll save that. And to deploy, to push this image to Control Plane's container registry, I'll just say sim CPLN image build. We'll give it a name. We'll call it the Taylor Hello app version one. And I'm going to push this into the private image repository that you get with Control Plane for free. And as you can see, it was successfully pushed. So let's navigate back to our GVC and let's deploy another workload to the Taylor Prod GVC. We'll say hello app as the workload name. But again, it could have any name that you wish. And I can select Control I on my keyboard and start typing Taylor. And I can see that our Taylor Hello app container image has pushed into the CPLN registry. I'll click Make Public and click Create. So now the Hello app that we deployed to the Taylor Prod GVC is again spinning up in all these locations we specified when we created the Taylor Prod GVC. So we'll wait for one of these to switch from not ready to ready. So we can see that it is healthy in AWS US East One, AWS US West Two, Central US, and I can navigate again to one of these individual app, uh, deployments. So I can go here and you can see hello ta from Taylor living in New York City. But again, we want to click on the global endpoint because this will route me to the nearest healthy location that will deliver me the lowest latency. So I can click on our global endpoint. And again, if I zoom in here, hello from Taylor living in New York City. TLS terminated, simple enough. Um, and if I wanted to register a custom domain, I can do that very easily as well. To see which location I was served from, from our global endpoint, I can go ahead and navigate back to this and let's detach this and shrink our window. I'll go ahead and shrink this screen as well. So when I navigate to the logs, we natively centralize all the logs for you. And I'm going to switch the theme to dark theme. And you can filter by time range, a specific location, a specific container, since a workload can be comprised of many containers, version. And we do support the LogQL query language. And we provide the documentation for that as well. You can query this. And let's click on live logging. I'm going to refresh this a few times. And you can see that I was served from Azure East US 2, which makes sense that I'm indeed living in New York City. But if you don't like this interface, we also provide Grafana out of the box. So I can click on Explore on Grafana. And I can see that I indeed, again, was served from Azure East US 2. I can see which provider served me, the replica, the stream, version number, et cetera.